The annual meeting of the World Economic Forum happens in Davos. I chat to some industry experts to help me decode Davos so you know what are the key topics to look out for. Mkareng, thank you so much for joining me. I would love to chat to you about Davos and its impact on South Africa. So to start out, why is the South African economy so dependent on decisions made by other countries at events like Davos? Maybe if we just take a step back and just look at the decision that was made in 1994 for South Africa to become a democratic country. From that, um, obviously that meant that we would enter the world arena in a much more integrated uh, way. And um, while that was, I guess, a good decision, um, the benefits we were hoping to reap from it, obviously uh, a much more um, inclusive society from an economic perspective, um, we were hoping that those benefits would, would filter down into um, a, across a broader uh, base of the of, of society. Yeah. There's obviously questions around that at the moment, and it's important for a South African investor because while we have joined this massive global arena, it obviously impacts us as individuals. You know how we interact with one another it affects South Africa's budgeting and economic growth, and and jobs, uh, which is a massive question for us. And how do jobs evolve in the future, just in the face of the fourth industrial revolution? Obviously, everything gets a lot more automated. Doesn't mean that I still have a job um, in the future. And, and those are really uh, key questions. To swap that question around, how important is the South African economy to the other countries when having discussions and making decisions? It's probably useful to bring up Provin Gordon and his own entourage um, at, at the 2017 uh, WEF conference. It would be important for Provin to, I guess, position South Africa as uh, a place that's ready to do business. Mm -hmm. And while we've said that probably um, for years now, um, the key question and where a lot of foreigners have basically uh, marked us red on is our implementation. This year, does it finally, do we finally start um, spending that 800 billion rand uh, budget that we've often uh, talked about? And it'll be important for, for Provin to rally in the story around South Africa based on that. And it's important, I guess, given the theme this year, uh, responsible or responsive uh, governance, um, it, it'll be important pro for Provin to, to um, solidify our, our story about the strength of our institutions, the judiciary, um, the treasury, the central bank and uh, the ind independence thereof. So I think that that's the importance um, of how it builds into South Africa being an investment destination. Okay, and then something which, which I keep my eye on and I f something fas that fascinates me completely is South Africa's, or it's South Africa's rating and the value of the RAND. How important is Davos in affecting the value and the rating of South Africa? What will be key will be how, as I, uh, as, uh, I mentioned, Provin delivers the South African story. Is he able to, to get foreign investors to rally behind South Africa? I think just from a numbers perspective, South Africa, we're expecting global um, or rather economic growth to recover this year, and that's really because the base was so low last year. So there should be some recovery, but it's obviously still very subpar, and it's up to um, the South African delegation to, to, to really support that story and, and support foreign investment into South Africa. And that would play out then into a strengthening currency, equity markets, and would look at other um, asset classes as well. Mkareng, what are you personally hoping to learn at WEF 2017? Where South Africa is concerned, uh, it hasn't only been um, a question on foreign investors' minds as to are we able to implement and deliver. Um, I think it's, it's a question that a lot of South African investors have had. So if you, if you look at an example like India, um, it has become the darling um, in emerging markets and that's because uh, the government um, in India has shown strong leadership and they've responded to the greater populace and in terms of you know jobs and, and, and um, energy and construction. And I think um, that's what we'd like to see in, in, in play out in South Africa. And the theme for Davos this year, uh, responsive, responsible leadership, we need to see that play out in the South African space and 
we'd be listening out for what the message is from the South African delegation as to how they're going to implement and show strong leadership. Cool. Thank you so much for joining me. That's Thanks, Warren. Thank awesome. You. Thank you. Thank you.